Hey everybody, this is Perch, and in celebration of Marvel's birthday today, Marvel dropped a uh, uh, a look at eight new titles that will shape the future of the Marvel Universe between now, basically December, and uh, February of 2022. So some interesting things here um, that we're going to get into, some interesting reveals. I, I will say um, they're celebrating their 82nd birthday, and I mean, good for you to celebrate a birthday, but uh, 82nd is, uh, well, I mean, it's it's a it's something, I, I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's take a look at these uh, these new titles. And there's they're basically Devil's Reign, Avengers Forever, Timeless, uh, Ten Lives of Wolverine, uh, Ten Deaths of Wolverine, She-Hulk, Reckoning War, Fantastic Four, and Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur. So what are all these things and where do they come in? Well, some obviously have some, uh, some background and some other pieces uh, to it. Uh, but let's take a look. First off, it's a Marvel event. Uh, it's not a comic. Devil's Reign. We knew this was coming. Chip Zdarsky, uh, Marco Cicchetto, December 2021. This is uh, basically a, a far-reaching crossover event, says Marvel, finds Mayor Fisk outlawing all superheroes in New York and unleashing intel on all their dark secrets while pitting Daredevil, Elektra, Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and the Fantastic Four against his Thunderbolts agents, which... Uh, in theory, we saw in King and Black, but um, it's yeah, some of those Thunderbolts agents are being used other places. So anyway, there there will be a new team of Thunderbolts uh, run by Mayor Fisk as he uh, outlaws superheroes in New York. Uh, well, I mean, they're wearing masks. Like, what's the... Anyway, sorry. Um, so this is uh, what Zdarsky was teasing of the big thing. Daredevil is ending in November to make way for Devil's Reign, which is this uh, giant Marvel event, and then and then we'll get a new Daredevil number one. So that's that's what's going on there. The second title is Avengers Forever, which uh, pulls together archaeologist uh, Tony Stark, uh, aka the Invincible Ant Man, what, and Avengers from across the multiverse to bring order to the timelines where hope is a four letter word. This is Jason Aaron and Aaron Cooter. Uh, basically presenting an all-new series that will redefine the Avengers as the multiverse's uh, mightiest heroes. So Jason Aaron also talking about how he was uh, going to put in a, uh, a big series. So this is where the Avengers has been leading to multi-universal shenanigans. It fits with what the MCU is doing. Uh, Aaron Cooter, uh, obviously, uh, is, is the artist paired with him. He's worked with Jason Aaron before. And this kicks off in December, uh, Avengers Forever. Uh, obviously, there's some history behind that title, but in this case, it's multi-universal shenanigans uh, that, we are, that we are getting there. Um, and then uh, the future of the Marvel Universe is here. The third book or event, it kind of, uh, it's, it's a project, uh, Timeless. So when a threatening new timeline occurs, Kang the Conqueror must uh, basically fight his way through the coming year to protect the 616 timeline he's worked to, uh, to own. So this is Jed McKay, Kev Walker, Joe Bennett, Mark Bagley. Um, and this is, they say, a provide a first look at coming to the Marvel Universe in 2022 and the story that will prove the future is timeless. Um, this looks like, it's December again, it looks like a one-shot of some kind. Basically, Marvel has done this before, teeing up um, kind of the, the future of, you know, cross-time shenanigans and everything else that they've got going there. Um, then we have two, uh, two titles or one title, um, anyway... It's, uh, it's, it's, they're trying, Ben Percy is leading this and it's called the X lives of Wolverine and X deaths of Wolverine, which would be like 10 lives of Wolverine, 10 deaths of Wolverine, depending on how you, you, you do it. The title images show these things flipped. Um, it's two interlocked tales. So two one shots or two limited series. Again, it's unclear. It is coming in January. It's Ben Percy, Joshua Cassara, Frederico uh, Vincetti. And uh, basically, they're saying um, they're they're comparing this to House of X, Powers of Ten. That this will have the same level of uh, of huge impact to Wolverine as the House of X, Powers of Ten did to the X Men. So this will test Wolverine the best there is what he does before any mutant can survive to the second Krakoan age. Uh, two interlocked tales about what happens to Wolverine when his past meets his future. So the Ten Lies Wolverine, Ten Deaths of Wolverine uh, coming in. Um, then, uh, fresh off cancellation from Runaways, Rainbow Rowell is going to introduce uh, the new book of Marvel Comics She-Hulk uh, with uh, 
Rohe Antonio. And this is basically, what are we doing with She-Hulk? Well, she's putting her rage-filled days behind her and returning to practicing law in defense of the innocent. But when a friend from their past comes knocking with a mystery she can't resist, She-Hulk gets back to bashing. So um, from what I understand, this is going to not go all the way back to the burn level of She-Hulk, uh, but semi-close to it. It's, it's going to... Uh, uh, take away some of the kind of Rage Hulk stuff that we've seen and move more into maybe the, the lawyer type She-Hulk. And shockingly, uh, this is coming out in January just as they're trying to ramp up the new uh, Disney Plus show, which from accounts is also not going to feature a hulking Rage She-Hulk like we've seen in the last several years, but instead more of the, the lawyer um, Ally Mc I heard Ally McBeal is what you should be thinking for the show, which uh, terrifies me, but okay. Um, then, Dan Slott being joined by Carlos Pacquio and Rachel Slott, Stott, not Slott, Stott, for Marvel Comics' Fantastic Four Reckoning Saga. This, their billing is 15 years in the making. If you remember, this was back when Dan Slott, uh, I believe, was writing She-Hulk. At the time, they mentioned this uh, big event, this Reckoning War. Uh, thing. The original secret war of the Marvel Universe has been reignited and every living being in reality is in danger for we are finally at our day of reckoning. So this is uh, some level of event spinning out of Fantastic Four. It doesn't, unlike Daredevil, it doesn't look like they're replacing Fantastic Four, but it is an event that it will either take place um, inside the, uh, the comic of Fantastic Four or more likely kind of that comic plus more comics um, Dan Slott and let's be honest, Christos Gage will probably be called in to help finish it. Um, Fantastic Four Reckoning War coming out from Marvel. And then uh, finally, um, we have a classified team, which means they haven't fully signed it yet. Um, but uh, Moon Girl is returning. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur uh, Luni Luna Lunella Lafayette and her lovable 20-foot dinosaur are back in a new series that will be coming out. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, of course, is coming to Disney Plus as well. This title, uh, despite being panned by a number of kind of longer-term comic fans, it's been one of Marvel's more successful experiments, certainly in trade paperback sales, where it did incredible. So in 2022, uh, they are bringing February, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur will be returning. So that's it's eight books, sort of. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of seven things, but, uh, to recap, we've got Daredevil heading into Devil's Reign, the big event. We've got Avengers Forever, which is Jason Aaron, uh, bringing out the Avengers event. We have Timeless, which is a kickoff for a year's worth of Kang shenanigans by the sound of it. We have 10 Lives and 10 Deaths of Wolverine, which is a kind of bookend thing. The Return of She-Hulk, The Return of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, and Fantastic Four Reckoning War. So if we're talking events here, we've got uh, Devil's Reign, we've got Avengers Forever, we've got Timeless, sort of, and we've got Reckoning War. Um, three months, three kind of event things kicking off. And then uh, new titles in the form of uh, She-Hulk and Moon Girl. It's interesting of these, I mean, it just shows how the industry is changing. We've got two new series, um, She-Hulk and Moon Girl. No word yet if they're limited series or if they're ongoings. I, I tend to, again, betting, man, I'm betting that uh, Moon Girl will be an ongoing uh, simply because they did so well in the trades and I think they want to get back to that. She-Hulk, I'm guessing, is some level of uh, limited series, but, but maybe not. Again, in the world where you reboot after 12 issues, like everything's a limited series to some extent. But this is what Marvel Comics is bringing you for their 82, uh, you know, year anniversary. Um, so there, there you have it. Are you excited about these books? Are any of these things, some different things, in fairness, you've got some X-Men Krakoa stuff in there, you have a Daredevil event, you have an Avengers event, you have a Fantastic Four event, you have a She-Girl, she, She-Girl, Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur and She-Hulk uh, series kind of spinning out. So a little bit of everything that kind of crosses the gamut. And you have this timeless thing. Marvel definitely wants to build up Kang as a massive threat and a big deal in the comics, given that he's a big deal in in the MCU with uh, with his appearance in Loki and then spinning off into Ant-Man and, and some of the other things. Um, the multiverse, if you're if you if you dislike the multiverse, buckle up because you are gonna get a lot of multiverse. Uh, that's, that's a hundred percent clear at this point is, um, just, just 
there will be a lot of multiverse for you in the future with the movies and the comics and everything else. So if you like alternate versions of characters, you're in luck. Marvel is going to be delivering it to you. So 82 year anniversary, what are you buying? What do you like? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for listening.